Hi, Sheree Fogarty here, founder of the Habit Gratitude Blueprint for Busy Moms and Families, where we show you how to get happier and more grateful children and be happier and more grateful yourself. And today's super simple question for your great book, book of gratitude or gratitude journal, whatever you're calling it these days, and for your children, is to name three things about their school that they're grateful for. Now, if you have multiple children like I do in multiple schools, you can write in your journal about you know three things about each school that you like. Um, or however many things you want, you can be more than three. But have your children come up with at least three things because school is one of those things. And even if they're not in school right now, if they're on break or it's the weekend, it doesn't matter because thinking about it is what's important here, focusing on it because you know, they've always gone to school or been able to go to school. So like everything, when you've always had it, you don't appreciate it. Our kids complain about going to school and there are kids literally in the world, especially girls who would give anything to be able to go to school. But our kids have always had that. So it's human nature for them to kind of take it for granted. So it's our job to help focus them and bring their awareness to the fact that it is a privilege, even though it's a right in this country, but it's a privilege to be able to go to school and to find things about school. Even if you don't love everything, that's okay, but to find things that you do love. So in this case, if they can pick three things, whether it's lunch with their friends, although hopefully it's some other things as well, you know, a favorite teacher, um, just, you know, a favorite subject. What three things about their school do they like? Do they like the location? Can they walk to it? Do they like the bus ride? Do they like learning? Whatever the case may be, maybe there are sports that are associated with their school. Um, it doesn't really matter what the three things are because again, what we're trying to do is focus thoughts and awareness on the fact that there are things about school to be grateful for and to appreciate. So that's it, super simple, right? But remember, knowing it and doing it are two different things. You have to do the journals if you want the benefit of the gratitude journals. And as always, I'd love to see pictures of your gratitude journal pages and your children's with their permission um, in our Facebook group or leave your comments and questions below because we all, you know, it's great to interact there as well. And if you're ready to get serious about not just keeping a gratitude journal and teaching your kids to be more grateful, but really making gratitude a habit in your home, really creating the habit of gratitude with your children in a fun and easy way, be sure to head over to sharifogarty.com after the episode if you're not already there and check out all the tools, resources, programs, ideas we have for doing that because it's you know how important it is. You know how important life-changing gratitude is for you and for your children. So, you know, it's time to do it. It's time for all of us to do it. The Gratitude Journal, Great Big Book of Gratitude is a great start and it's a component of it, but there's a lot more you can do, no matter how busy you are or your family is, to bring more gratitude and happiness into your home. So thank you so much, as always. And remember, we can have happier and more grateful children. We really can. And we can be happier and more grateful ourselves. And we can and we are because that's how we do it. Changing the world, one child and one family at a time starting through. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.